Hello dear student for this practical we use some apparatus which are the stand stop clock vernier caliper cork bob meter scale and some threads first of all in this practical we make the length of pendulum 80 cm then 90 then 100 then after increase the length 10 by 10 cm for the total length of a pendulum we also have to include the radius of bob and height of hook so first we find the radius of bob for this we use the vernier caliper for how to use vernier caliper you can see my video whose link is given in description now we'll find the diameter of bob here you can see the diameter of bob is 1.74 so for radius we divide the diameter by 2 for this you have to take three readings then after calculate the average value and then find the radius after that we will find the length of hook which is attached with bob so here you see that the length of hook is 0.9 cm now for the total length of pendulum we have to include radius of bob length of hook and the length of thread now to make the length of pendulum 80 cm have to subtract the value of radius of bob and the length of hook from 80 cm to find the length of thread after that to make 90 cm of pendulum we have to add extra 10 cm and for 100 cm again have to add 10 cm as we find the diameter of bob 1.74 cm so the radius become 0.87 cm and length of hook is 0.9 cm so length of thread become 78.23 cm after subtracting 1.77 cm from 80 cm now we mark on thread at 78.2 cm mark it properly now to mark at 90 cm for pendulum we mark at extra 10 cm as you see here For 100 cm, we add extra 10 cm. Similarly, for more length, we add extra 10 cm. Now see the mark on thread. This is for 90 cm, 400 cm, 110, 120, 130. pass the thread through the two split part of a cork with the thread coming out just from 80 cm mark
tied the two half cork piece between the clamp. Fix the clamp in a stand kept on a table. Move the bob by hand to over position on the right and leave. At that time start the stop clock and start counting up to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Find the total time noting position of both the hand of clock watch. This time is time for 20 vibration. Take two observation each for length 90 cm, 100 cm, 110 cm, 120 cm and 130 cm. Here you see the time for 20 vibration of length of 80 cm of pendulum is 27 second. Now we will see observation table. For 80 cm length of pendulum, we found the length of thread was 78.2 cm. For that, time for 20 vibration, we found the T1 is 37 second and T2 35 second, T3 36 second. After that, when we find the mean value, we got 36 second. For find the time period we have to divide mean value by 20 thereafter we found 1.8 second the square of time period is 3.24 for 90 centimeter length of pendulum the time period is 1.9 and the square of time period is 3.61 for 100 centimeter the time period is 2 and the square of time period is 4 second square. Similarly, for 110 cm, the time period is 2.1 second and the square of time period is 4.41 second square. For 120 cm, the time period is 2.2 and the square of time period is 4.84 second square. And at 130 cm, the time period is 2.28 second and the square of time period is 5.20 second square. Now we will see graph. The graph is between the length of pendulum which is on x axis and the square of the time period which is on y axis. On x axis we take 1 cm equal to 10 cm of length of pendulum and on y axis we take 1 cm equal to 0.4 second square of square of time period. After plotting the value from observation table we get a straight line from that we can say that the square of time period is directly proportional to the length of pendulum. If you like this video please subscribe and share with your friends.